And a big weekend ahead for college football fans after some initial uncertainty. Big Ten football is back. First game kicks off tonight with Illinois and Wisconsin. Our Indiana teams don't make, take the field until tomorrow. IU and Purdue open their seasons at home. Our Alexa Green is here now with a look at some of the precautions that the programs are taking this season. Alexa. The Big Ten implementing a number of new rules and regulations, all of it though aimed at keeping players and coaches safe and healthy. Now under these new guidelines, each school will have a chief infection officer to collect data and report it back to the conference weekly. Players also will have to go in a daily antigen testing and if that comes back positive, they will then have to go get a different test to confirm those results. If that too is positive, the conference requires players to quarantine. That protocol for a Big Ten football student athlete, uh, they would be in 10 days of isolation, and then they would return to activity somewhere around 21 days or, or longer. We want to make sure that we gradually bring them back to activity. Earlier this week, several mayors of cities with schools with Big Ten schools sent a letter to the league asking Big Ten officials for more COVID-19 precautions. They want the league to work with local and county health officials and define a positivity rate in each community where it won't be safe to play. Meanwhile, tomorrow at 3.30, IU takes on Penn State at home, and the Boilermakers will face off at home against Iowa. There will be no fans in the stands, and there will be no tailgating. We'll send it back to you in the studio.